Alright, here we have set up the solo variant for Istanbul, the dice game. We're going to be rolling our dice, using our dice to either get extra resources or turn them into rubies. We've got a couple different areas. We can buy outright some fruit or spice or jewelry or fabric. We can also buy money for lira. We're going to buy rubies with lira. We can also try to get uh, a group of goods to get rubies or we can acquire five of these mosque tiles um, if you want a little bit more detail on the setup these ten mosque tiles and everything like that you can watch the instructional video that I'll link in this video description let's just get going with it so every turn begins with the reveal a mosque tile face we're gonna turn over one of these tiles we're gonna get that benefit this round and this round only so let's see what our first benefit is Alright, we're going to get three lira right away. So we're going to take these three lira. Okay. Okay, so we've done our revealing the mass tile, which means we do our income phase. I've got no income, which means I'm just going to get right to rolling. Okay, so let's see what I get. Okay. All oh, these dice are very hard to see. Hmm. All right, so I get three. I get three uh, spice, uh, a lira, and a fabric. Okay, so let's see what my options are here. Uh, if I turn in this one, I can get two lira. Um, if I do three of the same thing, I don't get anything. I could do these two, but I could get. Um, a spice token and use that for future rounds along with my dice um, and I could also uh, do two different ones here and get a crystal which allows me to reroll I'm only going to get two actions so doing anything on this list is going to be considered an action so I can only do two of these things so of these three options um, I could only do two I could also reroll here um, hold on let's see a second here ooh this might change a little bit I've got three green. I could buy this mosque tile for three green. It's going to give me a extra action, which means I'd get three actions every time. Let's go and s do that. Okay. So we're going to buy use these three to buy that one. That means I'm either going to get two more lira or nothing. I've already spent this action, so I can't do my rerolling. Rerolling is kind of a thing you do um, before you start spending. So let's just take this two lira. So I'll take two more lira, and that's going to give me five lira in total. Okay, so I've got in this first round five lira and an extra turn. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to roll to take a ruby off this board. We're going to put a ruby on each tile as we reveal it. We have 10 rounds. So we've got the bizarre card. That means I take a ruby from this track right here and put it there. Okay, um, and that's the end of our first turn. So we're going to start our second turn. I have, oh, sorry, I have to refill the mask tile here. Let's see what else we get. Okay, a crystal. Okay, so let's reveal our next round's mask tile here and see what benefit we get. Okay, so here, if we take the Lyra action, we're going to take um, a, a jewelry token to add to our pool. Okay, I have no other income to take in. I'm just going to roll these dice and be able to take three actions now because of this mask. Let's see what I got. Okay. So I've got three fabric. I got a lira and I've got a ring. I'm going to be able to take three actions. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do three actions. Um, I like the idea of purchasing this one. Really start getting that uh, benefit for taking lira. If I buy that one first, when I take this lira, I would get both a fabric and I would get a ring. That would give me two rings and a fabric I could use to maybe trade into um, get another crystal or I could uh, two rings for a ring. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so the question is, do I need to re-roll to try to take advantage of my third action? 
to spend a crystal for just one action. I don't know. I don't know. First tough decision here. It's going to matter because we're already in the second round. Um, it's going to fly by. So this is actually a pretty big decision. Um, I'd hate to spend the crystal. I like this idea of getting the Lyra, especially if I purchase this. I've got three. I could try to roll to get a four, but I think in the long run this is going to do me a little bit more of a favor in terms of, of uh, uh, getting an engine or machine building here. So let's um, let's spend that crystal and let's see what we get here with this with this ring. Oh god, it, it went all the way over. Okay, all right. So at least we can now take our advantage of our all three three actions. So our first action is going to be to spend those three fabric to get this mosque tile. So now we've got two mosque tiles. Then we're going to use our lira. We're going to get two more lira. Okay. And because they spent the Lyra action, I'm going to get a fabric. And because this round says I'm going to get a jewelry as well. Okay. Now I'm going to play a bizarre card. Now so the way this works, um, I have one dice. So I'm going to get to flip over one card. I'm going to take its benefit. Here, um, I can trade out a mosque tile that I have for one that's showing. And I get an action. If I choose not to do this, I get one Lyra. So let's see. I get a reveal or replenish the moss tiles. Are there any here that I like more than the action or getting a fabric? The only thing I could think about doing would be to trade out this one for one of these, but I like the extra action. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the one lira and I'll trade out here, I'll trade four back. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I'm sitting at 8 Lira. The first one I can purchase is 12 Lira. So I'm getting closer there. I've got some, uh, some extra tokens that hopefully I can pair with something here a little bit later on. So I took my three actions. Two, because I'm given two. A third, because I have this bonus one. Now we're going to roll the dice and see where we're going to take a ruby from. And we're going to take it from the Lira. Okay, so it's going to cover it up. So now I was getting closer with that 12, but now it's, it's 14 before I can buy one. Okay, that's the end of that round. So now let's go ahead and flip over our next mosque tile. All right, so this turn I'm going to be rolling a sixth dice. Okay, I have no other income. I'm not getting anything from my mosque tile. So let's go ahead and roll these dice and see what we got. Okay, we got a lot of cards. Okay. And we don't have any. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any crystals to reroll. So we're kind of stuck with this. So I'm going to get three actions. So I'm going to take two lira. That's going to be another. I'll trade it out. Five. So we're at ten now. Okay. I took the lira action, so I'm going to get another fabric. Okay. So that's going to leave me with three fabric and two. Uh, ring, but let's let's do this. Let's use this action to see if we're going to get any other any other tokens. So this time I get to dole out three because I have three cards, three three dice here. I get to dole out three of these cards. One, two, three. So let's see what I've got. I can take four outright. I can if I had two wild cards, I could get two crystals, which I don't have. Or I can get a spice and three. So let's see. I need 14 to get this gem. So if I take this one, I have enough for the next turn. If I take this, I don't have enough. Um, and I get a, sp a fruit, which would be nice, but I don't think it's going to help me enough. So I'm going to take this four. And I just blew up all my, all my stuff. So I'm going to take the four lira. One, two, three, four. And that's going to give me enough to purchase. Okay. So now I've got the option. I can either spend these dice to get a crystal. Okay. Or I could spend the 14 to get the first ruby. I think I'm going to do the ruby. So I'm going to get rid of my lira. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's going to give me my first ruby. 
That way, if they roll it, I still have it. I don't. I, I'm still capable of purchasing it. Um, and um, if you think about it, I've got three actions. I'd be able to buy three rubies in a turn. That's not going to happen often. I've got to get. They want you to get about 11. They say 11 is the absolute best score you could achieve here. So I'd have to start buying rubies pretty much every turn moving forward. Okay, so I did my three actions. I um, looked at the bizarre card. I got Lyra and I bought a ruby. So now I am going to roll uh, for the fabric. Or, or sorry, to roll to see what uh, what what ruby we remove. And it is the Lyra. So we're now, luckily we took that, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to afford it the next turn. So now we are done with turn three here. Okay, we're three rounds in. We got our one ruby. Lyra rubies are kind of almost obsolete here. We're just going to nullify this to a degree. It's going to be on the back burner, but... Let's start our next round, our fourth round, with our Benefit Mask. And we're going to get a crystal. So we'll be able to re-roll if we need. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll since I don't have any income to take. Let's roll. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. So let's see. In terms of goods... We got one, two, three. If we take the lira, we would have four fabric, and that means we could afford that ruby, um, which means we don't really have anything to do with that. Here, I like that idea. Maybe I can get lucky um, with the cards, but do I reroll for one? I've got three actions: one, two, three. Yeah, okay, let's do it that way, I guess. So we're going to use this dice to get us two lira. And we're going to get a fabric token for that. I'm going to spend one, two, three, four fabric to get a ruby this turn. That puts me at two. And then I'm going to have two dice. Maybe should have done that first. We'll see if it comes back to haunt me or anything. So we've got two, so we're going to pull out two, one, two. Okay, so I could have discarded three wild, which I don't, to get one of each type, or two of one type to get a mask tile. Well, I don't think I would have done that instead. Um, I don't think I would have. Mm, I'm not sure. Sure. Um, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to take one Lyra. I'm not going to go back and uh, and replay it, but maybe that's a lesson for the next time. Play those um, Brazar cards first. Okay, so that was our turn. Got a ruby, got some money, lost some of our tokens. So let's go ahead and roll the C. We're going to take it out of the Lyra again. So Lyra has just one more. It's going to cost 20. So that's going to be a long road to get any of those. All right. So now we're halfway through. Let's get to our fifth round. Okay. I'm going to get to take a card. Let's see what our option is. Okay. So I get a wild. I ignore this bottom part. This bottom part's for multiplayer. I'm going to ignore it. I'm just going to take the, the, uh, the top reward. Okay. All right, so now I've got no income coming in. Let's go ahead and roll our dice, see what happens. All right. Okay, so I've got one, two. I could have one of each. That'd be here, one of each, but I need two other resources, which I don't quite have just yet. Um, if I take this Lyra... I'd get another fabric. That won't do much for me either. So let's go ahead and um, I'm leaning towards a reroll here. Let's keep these two and let's spend our crystal and let's reroll these three. 
All right. All right, so that's what we ended up with. So three actions out of this. Hmm. Well, I've got three different ones. Oop, that was a, a ring. I've got three different ones that can give me another wild. I could then spend this to get two more. So let's do that. Let's spend these three to get a wild. This two to get two more Lyra. That's going to give me five. And I'm going to get to take a fabric. And that leaves me with this fruit. That'd be one, two, three, four. I'm going to be one resource short to get to get this. So can I do anything with this last one? One, two, three. No, nope. I won't be able to do anything with it. Mm, I could get I could get this moss tile. One, two, three. I could also get. I have could use it to get three. I could get any of these here, I suppose. Let's do this one here. Let's start getting. So I'm going to spend my one yellow and my two wild. And now during the upkeep phase, where I was kept saying I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to do anything because I don't have any upkeep. I'm now going to be able to draw one card. Um, maybe it'll give me a little bit extra. Who knows? Okay, I did all that. Did my turn. I got my third mosque. Let's put our six mosque back in there. Three lira. Two more. Two more mosques, and I'll be able to get this ruby right here. For if I have five of them. So let's go ahead and roll and see where we're going to remove from. It is the jewelry, the ring. Okay. So we're halfway through. I've got two rubies. I'm um, decently close to getting the third. This is going to be a tight one here at the end. All right, let's go ahead and start with our bonus. Our bonus is a card. So let's go ahead and draw that. Um, if I have a wild, I get to take a wild. I don't have a wild, so I'm just going to get one lira. I got rid of my wild last turn. Bad timing on that. All right, my upkeep, I am going to get another card, and I'm going to get a fruit. That's nice. All right, now let's go ahead and roll my five, see what we get. All right, Lyra, fruit. Mm, I don't have any reroll, so this is going to be an action. This is going to be an action. And I'll see what I can do with these two. So let's... Let's learn from our mistake. Let's do our card first. If I have 10, I could buy a ruby. But I'd only have 4, 9, 10. Oh, son of a bee. Son of a bee. Should have done the... Uh, we're going to do it. We're going to say we did it. Yep, this is solo cheating at, at its finest. So I'm going to trade in these two to get 4 lira, which is going to give me that trade, give back 1. I also was going to gain a fabric token. Now I play this. Oh, I've got 10. Yeah, let's do it. We buy it. We're going to take one. When you when you use this action, you take it from this this chart. So we, that is done now. If the if the AI or the I don't know what you call it, the opponent rolls that dice rolls for this this area, we're going to pick it from somewhere else, okay? So, I did my lira, I did my card. Now I've got these two, one, two, three, four. That's all four and two more. Yeah, let's get ourselves another ruby, okay? So now we're at four rubies, but we're extinguished with all our resources. We don't have any left. So it's going to be a little bit of building. We, so we got two rubies that turn with a little cheating, um, but now we're also, also empty. So let's go ahead and roll to see what our, uh, where we're going to pull from. And it is our ring, our jewelry again. All right, so jewelry is going to be tough. But I've got fabric and I've got uh, fruit here. If I could get a moss tile in the next turn, I could uh, maybe start making an approach on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our sixth round here. Let's see what our bonus is. Okay, we're going to get an extra action, so that's going to be four actions for us this turn. Doubt that we're going to be able to do four things, but let's see. All right, my, my income, I'm going to take a card. See what it is. 
I can trade any good that I have for two goods, and I'm all maxed out, so I can't do it. So I'm going to get one lira. Let's go ahead and roll our dice. Okay, all. All fruit. Okay, so. Hmm. I think. I think I'm just going to go and get. I'm going to get a, a spice and I'm going to get a fruit. I'm just going to do two actions here. I'm going to trade those in there. This one dice won't give me anything. But at least I'm going to get closer to getting those two. That's my hope to get the next two. And hopefully at least end with six, maybe seven, if I can get the mass tiles. I've got two each of these. Like, what's not going to get me a mass tile now? That's kind of the up and down of this game. I, I had a, a good round last round getting two, but I extinguished all my resources. So now I've got to kind of build up, especially if I don't have an engine to get some or yeah I think that's just the way that the, the, that the game flows alright so those are my two actions despite having two extra actions I only had one dice can't do anything with that so let's go ahead and see uh, where we're going to remove a, a token ah, and yet again another another jewelry alright so it's been buying our time it's been kind of helpful not taking from this area keeping everything relatively cheaper um, we got three rounds left to get I don't know what four Seven rubies is a is a hope at this point. Okay, so here we go. All right, I'm going to get a sixth dice this turn. Okay, my income is this card. Let's see what we get. Ooh, I get a crystal and three. Three is not going to do anything for me, but the crystal might help with a reroll because I'm trying now to get moss tiles, which means I need three of something or four of something from these rubies. With an extra dice and those two, uh, those two tokens, let's see what we can do here. Okay. All right. So now we got one of each, and then two more, which is going to be short here. Four, five, six, seven. So I don't really like what happened there. Um, I could, though, because I've got three actions. I could take this action and pull in another fabric and spend all of them on that ruby and hope in two turns I'm able to afford another one. It seems expensive though, but I don't think there's another way unless I reroll stuff to uh I don't know if there's another way. If we take the odds if we don't if we roll these four, that means I'd have two of each, I might be able to buy two mosque tiles. If I can get if if I get at least one more spice and one more let's roll for it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try it. We're going to roll these reroll these four with the crystal we got from our our card. Okay. So we got the 3 we needed here, but we didn't get much else. Okay. So let us let us do this. We're going to do these 3. These 3. Oh, we got 4 for that. We could get that gem. That ruby. I think we need to get that ruby. Yeesh. Do we get the ruby? Do we get the moss tile? We gotta get two moss tiles for a ruby. Do I take a ruby straight up? Oof, 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 oof. Tough decision. Well, let's see what we'll see what else would play out. Okay. Let's say let's say I use this. I'm gonna get another fabric. That means I have two fabric, and I'd have two green, which wouldn't do anything for me. But I could trade these two in to get a. A crystal so I could re-roll next time. Alright, well we know we're gonna do this. Sorry, I should discard that guy. We know we're gonna this which is gonna give us two. I give three back. About six and it gives us a fabric. Okay. So now the question is Do I get the mosque or do I get the ruby? The, let's get the mosque. Let's discard these three to get the mosque. One, two, three. Okay, that's my fourth mask, <sighs> which means I get to keep this, which means I have a chance for it again. <laughs> and now I've got these two. I'm going to discard these two together to get um, a crystal so I can re-roll again. I think that's going to be important at this point. Okay, let's roll to see where we... Oh, let's replace our mask. Three green. Okay. All right, here's hoping for uh, a bizarre card or a fabric 
and it's a ring so we get to choose so we're going to take from here because i just don't think i'm i'm going to be able to uh, to get that all right so we did not get our ruby that turn but we're within one of this ruby we've got some resources to get some more um we'll give this dice back we no longer have six we're down just to our basic five let's see what this ninth round bonus is it's three lira. It doesn't really do much for me here because I can't buy any more. Okay. All right. My income is going to be a card. Let's see what we get. It is a fabric and three. Okay, a fabric and three more. So five, give back two. Okay. This has been a nice little, nice little get. I can see getting multiple of those of those masks and. Uh, Mastiles and it really benefiting. All right, let's go ahead and roll. Let's see. We're trying to get one more mask. We're trying to get some green and yellow. Let's see what happens. All right, we got yellow. Got some green. All right, so this gives me not enough for anything just now. I think I'm going to have to use that crystal to re roll. The question is, do I reroll just these two, or do I do do I include the green on it? I say we include the green on it, so we can almost guarantee us being able to get uh, get that yellow. Yeah, oh man, loaded up with it. Okay, um, so we've got three actions, but I don't think we're going to be able to do three things because we're going to use up a lot. I'd say let's do this. Let us use these four, one, two, three, four, to get our ruby from that position. Okay, so we use those, we discard our yellow. Then I've got one, two, three, four, one of each type, which is gonna give me two resources. I could do that and try to pull in, hmm, if I did that, I'd pull what, two green? Try to get another mosque tile. But I'm giving away a green to get an extra green. Yeah, I guess it's worth it, right? One, two, three, four. One of each different one. And I get another green tile there. Those are my two actions. Okay, that's it. I was able to get another ruby, so that's going to be five. I'm hoping to get a mosque and a tile in this last round so I don't just finish with just six rubies. Six is a, a the lowest score that they start to count. So let's go ahead and roll and see where we're gonna lose a, a ruby. We lose it from the fruit, okay? Now let's go ahead, last turn, we're gonna flip over our last benefit and it's gonna be an extra action, okay? And we're gonna pull our income, which is gonna be our card. Okay, let's see what we get. We get a wild, that's pretty helpful, okay? All right, so now we're gonna roll. And we've got red, red, lira, and a yellow. Okay, so these three red are going to give us our last mask. And I think that's all we're, we're not going to be able to afford a green. All right, so uh, let's start here. I got four. Lira, so that means I'm going to give change one. And so I've got 15, 16 Lira. That's these two. But for that, I'm also going to get a red and a yellow. A red and a yellow. All right, so now I've got to look here. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to have enough either way. I could split it. No, that's not going to do me any good. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I can, I think I'm only going to be, I'm close to getting two, but I'm only going to be able to get one. I need five fabric to get the last ruby here. And I need three green to get my last mosque. I could have possibly gotten two, which would have pushed me to seven. I have three actions. I used one already here to, uh, to get, uh, uh, to get another red and to get a yellow. Yellow doesn't help me anything here. I can't trade those. If I trade those two in, I'm just going to get a yellow. It's, it's not worth anything at all. Um, 
So say, so I'm just going to be one short. It sucks. Um, uh, unless, no, that's not going to help me out either. If I, the order I would have done it if I would have bought this thing first, then did my Lyra action, I would have gotten a green back, but that's not going to help me at all. So, you know, let's say, let's say we bought, say we use these three, I don't know. Okay, so let's say we use these five to get our ruby. I gotta discard these. That's my second action. I did I did the lira, I did the fabric, I had one more action. <sighs> and I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be one spice short of getting my seventh ruby. It's quite unfortunate. I can't do anything here. I don't have any more rerolls. I trade in those two for yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it. So we end uh tenth round. Uh, take away from here. Tenth round's ended. I was able to get six rubies, which I think if you uh, check the scoring table says, oh, you're a traitor or something like that. It's uh, lowest score possible in ten rounds. But that's been Istanbul the Dice Game. Hope you enjoyed it.